Hello there. Well, first I'd like to apologise for the not so brilliant lighting in this video. It was good weather until I just decided to make a video and now it's just gone dead dull and it's about to pee it down. Welcome to England. Anyway, moving on. This here is a MacBook Pro that I have in that needs looking at. This is a friend's and they have decided to erase everything on the hard drive when they were trying to restore it to factory settings. So all it does is kind of sits at a white screen for a while. Comes up with a question mark in the middle and doesn't do anything else. Now what we're going to have to do to resolve this problem is reinstall macOS from fresh again which to do this you're going to need a USB stick preferably a USB 3 stick because they're much faster speeds and uh, you're also going to need another Mac computer to make the stick bootable for this one so this is the problem let's just turn this off for now because we don't need it okay so let's move this out of the way let's get the Mac over here Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your USB stick. Now this needs to be sort of 8 gig I'd say, or bigger. Now you can see this here is a 32 gig one. And you also need to download your operating system of choice that you want to install. I've got a couple downloaded on this uh, computer here. I have Yosemite, El Capitan and Lion. So I'm going to be using Yosemite for this uh, particular video on this Mac so make sure you have the installer downloaded from the store and uh, in your apps there now first thing you want to do when you insert the USB stick is go to your utilities and then you're going to want to go to disk utility and find the uh, USB stick which means SanDisk Ultra whatever and uh, I would partition it change it to one partition I'm gonna call this USB and then you want Mac OS extended journal and then just leave it as the max capacity and apply that partition also remember that this erases everything off your USB stick so back up anything off there. Close disk utility. And now what you're going to want to do is go into terminal and open that whilst we're in here. Let's put that to one side. And I'm going to close the utilities window now. Okay, I'm going to also include this text file called Yosemite USB Creator. And uh, this is the command that we need to put in the terminal to create a bootable USB drive to install OS X from. Okay, I'll quickly go over this command here. Now, uh, you see here, applications install OS X Yosemite.app. If you're installing a different version of the operating system, then change this here to the name. So for example, if I was going to install El Capitan, I would change this to EL Capitan. But notice here, how there's a space what you have to do is add a backslash there that allows you to use spaces in the command line see like OS space X space they've all got a backslash and you would change it there then you would go along further you'll find again Yosemite change this here as well to L backslash space Capitan and that now would work for El Capitan. This is the same for pretty much any and every version of uh, Mac OS. You would just change the name here and use this same command. So let me just undo this really quickly. Okay, now I've restored this back and it's back to the Yosemite command. Also, if you notice here, if you don't name your USB like I have, USB, you can see it there on the side. If it has a different name, then change the name of your USB stick here. See where it says USB after volumes? So I could have called it installer. So 
So I would just put installer there. If you just name it USB, then that's easy enough because it's going to get renamed anyway once we run this command. Anyway, let's get this command going. So what we're going to do is select all of this command, right click and copy, go into the terminal, and now in the terminal, right click and paste. So that command's in there. Then what we do is we hit enter. It will ask you for a password, most likely. So type in your password for your user account. That's what you use to sign into the computer, not your Apple ID. And then press enter. It will then erase the disk, which is the USB stick. It will copy the installation files, make it bootable and will do a couple of other things. And then it will say when it's done. This won't take very long for me because I have a USB 3 stick in the USB 3 slot. And um, you can already see over here that the USB stick has been renamed to install OS X Yosemite. So I'm going to leave this here and then I'll uh, resume the video once it's finished. Then you can see what that looks like and what to do next. Okay, now it is finished. That didn't take very long at all for me. It copies the installer files after it's erased it. Copy complete, makes disk bootable, copies the files it needs to boot it, copy complete and done. So then we can close the terminal. Quick note, I will be including a link to this text file in the description where you can just copy and paste this from and put it straight into your terminal. Okay, now at this point, we've got the USB stick here that's done, ready to go. So let's eject this from this computer. Okay, so this is the USB stick we've just made bootable. I'm going to plug this into a USB port quickly. Like so. And uh, turn the Mac on. Whilst you turn it on, hold down the Alt button here. And it should come up with the option to boot from the USB stick. I'm still holding the Alt down. There we go, let go of it. And you can see the USB icon here. And we've got install OS X Yosemite. You'll get whatever version you've got there. So we're going to click on that. Double click. And I'll start to boot and load into it. This booting and start up could take a while depending on the speed of your USB stick. There we go, once it starts up, you'll get this screen here. Now do not just click install OS X, you would think, yeah, we'll just install it now. You don't. First you want disk utility, so click on that. When this opens, you need to find your hard drive, and we will reformat and partition that. So we want here, Apple hard drive, 500 gigs, that kind of sticks out. So let's go to partition. We want one partition in this case. I'm going to call it Mac, Mac OS Extended Journal you want, and you want the full capacity. Click Apply, Partition, it's now formatting it down here, mounting, partitioning complete. Now close out the disk utility, install OS X. Now we run through the installer. Continue. I agree. Yes, I agree. We want to install it on Mac. Install. Continue. Now this will take a little while. Again, it depends on the speed of your USB stick, how long. To me, it shouldn't be too long. Okay, quick side note. If you get this message here that says this copy of the installer can't be verified, it may have been corrupted, tampered with during downloading, whatever. This tends to be if the year isn't set, well, the date, but more particularly the year correctly. So uh, that could either be the date and time's wrong on the computer, or it's an old installer that was downloaded from a while ago, or it's been moved from a couple of computers and things like that. Now we can update this and repair it by changing the time of day. So if you close out and go to Utilities and Terminal, we will have to set the date via command line. So if you type in date and press enter, it shows you the current time and date that's set on the system. Now you can update this by going date space and then typing in the date you want to set it as. And it's done in 
month, day, hours, minutes, year, all together in one big go. So say I want to set this to to September 9th, 1637, 2015. This will be the command I type in. It will be 0909. So that gives us September the 9th. And then what we want to set is the time, which is 1640 at current. So that's done. 16 is the hour, 40 is the minutes. And then you set the year. So I'm going to put 15 for 2015, because that's when I acquired this installer from the App Store originally. So that should hopefully work. Press Enter. The time's now Wednesday, September 9th, 16.40, and it's 20.15, according to this computer. So let's uh, exit out of this terminal, and go back to install OS X. Continue. Agree. Agree. Mac. Install. Continue. And it should now install without issue. If it doesn't work first time for you, just simply change the year on your uh, Mac to different years until it goes through and does it. Because that can depend when the installer, like how old the installer is. As we can see here, it's uh, going ahead and working just fine. So I'm going to pause the video and resume it when it finishes. So far, this second has probably taken about 5 minutes, approaching 10. So. We'll just give it another few minutes. It's still going fine, but I mean, second, yeah. We'll see. Oh, it's finally rebooted. That second took about 10 to 15 minutes. So, yeah, thanks very much. It reboots. Alright, now it's at the second stage. It's just rebooted. We've come back on. Installing on Mac, about 17 minutes left. So now I'll leave it to do that. It's rebooted a second time. Let's see where this goes. Alright, it's done. So now you just go through and set it up as if it was a brand new computer that you bought from the factory. You can unplug your USB stick and uh, jobs are good. Then. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you have any problems, comment down below. I'll try and give you a hand.